good to be here with you this morning. Um, this is a homecoming. Anybody else here from South Dakota? Good. I can talk trash. Um, I came here today to talk to you about my Honda. This is my Honda CRV. I've had it for about 12 years. Um, we've made four cross country trips. I've had frozen uh, cans of Coke blow up in it, 207,000 miles. But I have to get rid of her because I planned a trip and she can't make it. I wanted to get from Rapid City, South Dakota, to the, to, to the Cape Verde Islands off of West Africa. And for some reason, my reliable Honda couldn't make the last leg of the journey. Wrong tool for the job, right, kid? I mean, Tim the Tool Man Taylor knew that. You gotta match your tools with the job that you hope to accomplish. And as silly as it sounds to think that I can drive my Honda to Africa, I think we're just as silly to expect our schools that were designed many hundreds of years ago to serve the needs that we have today. Our schools were designed to meet the needs of industry. And so bells, separated subjects, classes in rows, and age-based batching are, are uh, designed to evoke the factory lines that they replicate, not to prepare our kids for the world. Those classes were made for mainly white boys. Our women were uh, concerned because if I wanted you to be seen and not heard, why don't you get advanced education? Kids of color were not even allowed to be educated. Schools were not designed to get 100% of kids to college. They were designed to sort them. The earliest advocates of education said we should sort kids into the learned, those who would get advanced education, and the labor, those who would prop it up from the bottom rungs. That doesn't work in a generation when our kids have the world at their fingertips. You think, especially if you're out of the classroom, you think it's annoying when a kid asks you, but mister, why are we learning this? Well, how much more annoying is it when they can not only solve all your equations, but they can also stream the latest Netflix original from the computer that fits in the back of their skinny jeans. Our classrooms are more diverse than ever, even though in some communities, segregation rivals pre groundwork and board of education. These kids bring with them different perspectives, different histories, and if we don't tap into them, we're missing out. We want 100% of our kids to go to college. We want that's a lofty goal that's an important goal. But we haven't changed the mechanisms that we educate our kids with. And so instead of getting that, we get the college drop up. We get kids who go to two, uh, two years to drop. They have mortgage size debts and no credentials. So if anything, we've exacerbated the opportunity gaps for kids after they drop out of school. Let me make one caveat and say that while our education at large was not designed to educate kids of color, one system was the Indian education system. Based off of Captain Pratt, the superintendent of Carlisle Indian School, philosophy killed the Indian city of the man. So we tore kids away from families and communities and then expect them to learn. We're no longer sorting for learning and labor, but we're still sorting. These are our high school graduation rates. And if you look, instead of it being about who gets education and who works in factories, it's about what color are you what neighborhood are you from, and whether or not you're going to finish. Again, the tools that we use are not fit for the job that we're asking schools to do anymore. And so we have to get creative. This is the why behind personalized learning. Kids don't learn from people they don't like. So you need to know your kids. You need to know where they're from. You need to understand their interests so that you can make connections. Why should I learn what you want if you don't even know what I like? If you don't even know who I am and what I care about? We need to, instead of stripping kids of their indigenous language, their culture, and their history, we need to bring it back into their classrooms. Allow them to see that people like them are not only successful, they're important, that they're valuable, that you love and care for them, and that you're willing to go the extra mile to help them achieve their dreams. Then, and only then, are they willing to sit at the table with you and grapple with your rigorous content. Then, and only then, are they willing to walk with you into a future that they may not even imagine for themselves. I'm not saying that we should change our goals for college for all, because I'm still trying to get to Africa, okay? But I realize now that I can't drive my Honda. I need something different. We need new tools. Maybe the Honda won't get me there, or something like that might. Thank you for listening.